Hello, my name is Scott Hamlin, and this is my first demo of Easy Animator Pro 2.0. Now, I just want to quickly kind of show you what Easy Animator Pro 2 is about, and really it's about trying to make Easy Animator Pro actually easy. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I don't know about you, but when I'm um, doing my animations, I typically have a concept that I'm trying to animate, right? I mean, I'm in my script, and I've got to a point where I need to do something like, oh, I don't know, maybe I want it to be fun or something. So I want to be able to search for something quickly and easily. So I wrote fun. It'd be good if I could spell. So now we can do keyword searches based on keywords. And all of our Anabit packs uh, bundles have been uh, redone so that they are based on keywords. And all of the uh, files have been restructured so that they animate more logically. And what do I mean by that? Let's go back to the money one just because I know that there's kind of a little bit more uh, metaphoric kind of things here, uh, kind of concepts. So let's select all of this and remove it. And uh, let's just take, take this one here, for example. So if I click on it hit there and I can go into the easy mode and do break apart. And what I'm gonna find here is that all of the things have been grouped logically. So, you know, this is a thing and this is a thing. One that's kind of cool about that, is let's say that you just need a key. Once, if you see a key in the design, you can go ahead and delete all these other things and just use the key. But let me show you something that's pretty cool too. I am now hitting C Command Z on my Macintosh because Easy Animator Pro now supports undo at multiple levels. So that's very cool and very useful. So a lot of you will be very happy to see that. But here, um, kind of moving on, at this point, I want to animate it. Now I could go into the presets and try to find them, or I can just go ahead and click on animate. It's going to go ahead and it's going to just go through the presets and animate. If I like that, that looks pretty good to me, then I'm good to go. Now, if I, if I really like it, I can go ahead and add it to the um, the presets here. I can add it to favorites. Um, so you'll see here that I've got default, and that's what it's, oh, actually, it's kind of going from the favorites right here because I have this checked. If I turn that off, it would have gone to all the presets, the default presets, which are all of these here. And of course, you can make your own and you can import them and so forth. And um, so that is pretty cool. Uh, real quick, these are the six new animations that are also there. I'll show you those in another video. But really what it comes down to is when I want to make an animation, I need to be able to do it quickly and easily. And that's what we've tried to accomplish here in Easy Animator Pro version two. So again, here, let's just do it one more time. Let's say that I'm trying to do something based on um, shopping. Let's do shop. So there's going to bring in all the designs that are related to shopping. And let's say that I like, oh, let's pick, I'm coming down here. Let's say this one uh, fits what I'm trying to do. And so I, I, I've got that now. So I can come over back into this, break it apart, click on animate. And just until I find something that I like. And once I find something that I like, I can go ahead and even adjust the timing here really quick. So that's uh, typically when I'm doing something like this, I need it to last about as long as a sentence or so. And this is a bad sentences are typically 10 to 14 seconds. So this would add up to 10 seconds and uh, then I'm ready to go. So it's really that easy. So uh, now when I need to do some animation, I can find my art quickly, uh, find a fun animation quickly. I can tweak it if I want to by going into the advanced mode, but, um, and then, you know, export it and move on to the next part of my video. So Easy Animator Pro is now actually easy to find and create animations.